What's up, YouTube? Back for another video. Today, we're going to talk about Aladdin. And more specifically, about the merchant in the beginning of Aladdin. <laughs> ah, salam and good evening to you, worthy friend. Please, please come closer. <laughs> too close, a little too close. That tries to sell the lamp. It tells a story about Aladdin. Now I got a theory about that merchant that could potentially change your whole view on the movie itself. Now there's a confirmed, I won't say theory, but a confirmed statement from the directors of Aladdin stating that the merchant is in fact genie. And we know this because the voice actor for the merchant it's also Loud Williams, who does the voice of the genie. And it's stated that the merchant in the end of the film is genie in disguise. But why are you trying to sell his lamp away? Is he trying to get a new owner? But yet he's free. So, I'm going to tell you why the merchant is not genie. But first, make sure you hit that like button. And that's the one. And let's get into it. So, the merchant from Aladdin tries to sell some lamp. And at first, we're not really interested, and we walk away. And it's kind of cool that Disney breaks the fourth wall here by basically putting us in front of his merchant table and he's trying to sell his goods, and we, you know, walk away. He also tries to sell us a hookah. Naughty, naughty, Disney. Anyway, then the merchant tells us about this magical lamp. And we see him a little intrigued. So we listen in and he says he has an awesome story about this lamp and he tells us the story of Aladdin where a young street rat named Aladdin um, you know just tries to steal food now and then you know because he's poor and lives in the streets and he does you know do a good deed by stealing bread for other kids who can't afford it Aladdin is a great guy. Anyway, and then Aladdin, you know, meets Jasmine, who he doesn't know at the time is Princess Jasmine, and he falls in love. And then, you know, it's like love at first sight. And then Jafar takes Aladdin because he has a prophecy that Aladdin is the one who can enter the Cave of Wonders for him and achieve, retrieve the genie lamp because Jafar wants all the power. He wants to grant himself three wishes so he can become Sultan and take over the country. So Aladdin is persuaded to go to the Cave of Wonders. He ends up getting trapped down there. Jafar ends up leaving and then Aladdin does find that lamp and loves it and out comes a genie who is mysteriously voiced by the same person who's telling the story but I'll get back to that and then you know they get out of the cave of wonders and then we have the story of you know Aladdin wishing to become a prince and then potentially uh, meeting up with Jasmine to try to fall in love I'm going to get back to the wishes of Genie in another video because there's something fishy about that. There's a theory out there, not my own theory, uh, but I will talk about that in another video where Aladdin is technically own another wish. He didn't give all three, get all three wishes. That's kind of cheap on your part, Genie. 
no offense. Anyway, he becomes a prince and tries to get Jasmine for all of them and they'll find Jafar back and forth. You know the story. I don't have to sit here and ramble on about the whole story. Now, at the end of that, last, last, last wish is that GD becomes free. So, he is free to do whatever he wants. He still has the magical powers. He can still transform to different animals and do what he needs to do, fly around. And at the end of the movie, we see him dressed up in a goofy hat and a Hawaiian shirt, and he's ready to go to Magic Kingdom for the day. Or for how long? I don't know. But the fact that he still has his powers means he can do anything he wants. And we do see him, you know, in other films and the cartoon show and things like that. So he has all the power in the world. He is the genie. He could still make wishes happen for people, even if they don't wish it because he's not under the control. He just does it because he wants to. So if the genie has that much power, why would he become a merchant and try to sell goods to make a living? Because I don't think the genie is the merchant. I think the merchant is just telling us a story so that we would buy the lamp. Because if you think about it, we go up to the merchant table, he has a bunch of weird goods, he has a, a hookah, and we're like, nah, you're just a merchant, I don't want anything, you know. But then, he brings up this magical lamp, and tells us this grand story about how the lamp has a, a magical genie in it, and, you know, it will grant you three wishes, and all this stuff, and, you know, this awesome story that he told us. But if their story was true and the merchant did have this particular magic lamp that Gene was in and he showed it to us, we go to rub it, guess what? No Gene's gonna pop out. So it's a scam. Either way, it's a scam because if the story is true and he is the genie and he's selling us the lamp, he's not going to pop out of it because he's not attached to the lamp anymore. But if he's just a merchant trying to scam us with a good story, so we have the potential to buy the lamp, that's a scam. So, yes, the directors confirmed that the merchant is the genie, but what if that's not true? Because, like I said, the merchant's just telling us a great story to convince us to buy a piece of junk. So, comment down below your thoughts on uh, the merchant from Aladdin. And look forward to me discussing how the genie owes... Aladdin wish because if you think about it he never really got that wish under the water because Aladdin never spoke the words to save him and that's the wish that was quote unquote counted anyway thanks for watching and watch out for scamming merchants trying to sell you lamps because there is no genie in it. Either way, if he is the genie and he's trying to sell you a lamp, it's a scam. If he's just a merchant selling you a lamp, it's a scam. And if you see a merchant trying to sell you a lamp and he tells you a story about Aladdin, ask him, are you the genie that was in that lamp? Because you just told me that the genie was free. Freed from his imprisonment inside the lamp. So, that lamp is just a piece of junk. Unless the merchant was trying to sell you a different lamp and said, hey, this is a story about a lamp. I have another one. Either way, it could be a scam. 
With that being said, I'm going to end this video because I'm going to ramble on about this for another 20 minutes if I could. And I think I already hit my point. So, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.